Carlene Andresen, founder of Ladies Lemonade, a media-centric website because you can't see passion on paper. Okay, I'm just going to tell you the truth about it. I recently did a practice interview. I invited my girlfriend over. I printed out questions for her to ask me. I set up the video camera downstairs. We went down. We shut the door. It all was quiet. We went through the question and answer series. I downloaded it on my computer, and here's what happened. I could not stand the interview. Now, here is the lesson learned in all of that. Ladies, do not go into an interview without preparing ahead of time. Don't ever find yourself in a position in public domain where you're going to come back and be appalled and disgusted at what you said, what you look like, um, the facts that you shared. So this segment, ladies, is about the nuances of preparing for that interview, whether it be radio, television, print. It is all the same. You need to get prepared. So buckle in, get your pen and pad ready. Let's go. We're going to do this in 12 steps. Step number one is practice, practice, practice. Where Whatever we talk about today, the first rule of thumb is that you're going to apply this by practicing. The reason why that's going to help is because you will be able to introduce yourself at Chamber of Commerce. You'll be able to network. You can give that 30-second elevator pitch. You will be able to have a, a conversational dialogue so natural that people know that you know your business. Step two, know why you're doing the interview. Is it to highlight a product? Is it to showcase um, something that you offer? Is it because something it, there's a hot topic going on in, in society and your business crosses over that hot topic? Is it your leadership style? What is it that you're bringing to the table for this interview? And that next step is step three. Know what you're going to talk about. Can you deliver that message with concise, clear descriptions, descriptive words? Do you have facts? Do you have examples from your own business that can validate the facts that or the knowledge that you're sharing? Step number four, anticipate tough questions. Take a look at what you're doing, why you're there, what you're going to talk about, and take a look at the way other people would think about it. Are there going to be tough questions? What do those look like? And how would you respond to those? There's always in the interviews, always questions that are going to sneak up on you that you hadn't planned on. But if you know what you're going to talk about, if you know your points, then you're going to understand how to deal with those. So consider some of the tough questions that you might be asked. Step number five, research. Research the person that you're going to be interviewing with. Research the, the station, if it's a television station, radio station, a magazine. Take a look at some of the topics that they cover. Take a look at how they cover it. Is it a question and answer series? Is it somebody who likes to always play devil's advocate in the industry that, that or in the, with the person that they're interviewing? Take a look at it. Research it. The other part of the research is research what is happening in your own industry. Research why you do what you do. Know what the trends are in what you do in your industry. So, number Number six, the words you use. Think about the words you use. Can the words you use be misunderstood? Are there double meanings? Slang has no place in interviews. It's a dangerous game to play. If you have industry jargon that you use, you may want to explain it if you're going to use it. Seven, when it comes to things you want to wear, consider it carefully. The things that you wear will be etched in the memory of history for all time. And when you're famous and you're on some huge massive show and you're the icon in that industry, the last thing you want them to do is to go back and find the video of you in a psychedelic neon flashing outfit. Also consider Matthew Lesko, the, the guy that gives away government grant money, or he tells you he promotes government grant money, free government grants. He always wears a blue jacket with a bunch of question marks all over it. And he acts like a maniac in his commercials. When I recently saw him on an interview, he was dressed like a mainstream person because in that interview, he wanted to be taken seriously. Number eight is your voice, like in The Little Mermaid. In this context, what we're talking about is when you do interviews, monotone is monotonous. It's boring. Do you love what you do? Are you passionate about what you do? Are you better than the next guy? Then you need to tell me through your voice. And number nine, hand gestures. Keep them out of your face when you're doing hand gestures. You can keep them below the frame or in the frame, but make sure it's something that is appropriate for the interview. So you don't want to be waving things and going in front of your face like this because that's an annoyance. 10, eye contact. What a simple thing to say and so many of us lack 
making that eye contact. And number 11 is more just for your knowledge. Understand that media people are usually on tight deadlines. They don't have a lot of time. I have a girlfriend and what happens is that when she calls people to do an interview, they, they could take up to a week to get back to her. She doesn't have time like that. Her editors, you need to remember people in media, this is a job for them. This is not something they, that they're doing just because they're willing to give it away. It's how they earn a living. So they are being given directions and instructions and deadlines by their bosses. So understand that when you're being called, call them back promptly. Make sure that you respond quickly to those um, interview opportunities. And 12, to seal the deal, make sure that you have some pictures of yourself, of your product. Be prepared that if it's going to be on video, that maybe they want some footage of you working on a computer or on the telephone. They may want to see you in action, lifting a child, shaking somebody's hand. So just be prepared that there may be some extracurricular um, activities when you're doing your interview. So there you have it. Those are the 12 steps. Now certainly it's not going to cover everything, but it will certainly give you solid ammunition to go in prepared, look professional, help them to understand that the message you're here to bring is solid, confirming, authoritative. Go out and squeeze everything you can out of your day. Enjoy.